Good evening, the prosecution of the former soldiers over three deaths during the Northern Ireland Troubles had been halted. Soldier if was being prosecuted for the murder of two men, James Ruddy and William McKinney, shot during a civil rights demonstration in Londonderry on Bloody Sunday in 1972. Soldier B was to be prosecuted for the murder of 15-year-old Daniel Haggerty in the city six months. Later, read more, what caused landmark legacy prosecutions to collapse. The families of the victims were informed of the decisions during meetings on Derry on Friday morning. Mickey McKinney, brother of William McKinney, expressed disappointment at the decision of the pages is not to pursue the prosecution against soldier if this issue is far from concluded. He said, we will fight on. Another news. The last few weeks have seen the sunshine and temperatures reaching the mid-twenties around Ireland but it appears that our old nemesis, the rain, will be making its presence felt this week. While conditions are set to remain very mild, humid and showery, longer spells of rain will develop too. However, it's not all bad because today we'll see highs of 24 degrees in some places while Friday, 23 degrees is also looking to be pretty decent too. Next tonight, Michael Greco has become a dad for the first time after welcoming his newborn son. Taking to his Instagram account on Friday afternoon, the former EastEnders star shared that his son was born early and with a rare birth defect called gastrocesis. Michael, 51, posted a photo of his boy in his hospital crib and announced that he has been named Gian Luca Greco. And finally, England had arrived in Rome ahead of their Euro 2020 quarter-final clash against Ukraine at the Stadio Olimpico on Saturday night their first away game of the tournament. But Gareth Southgate has said being away from home is not a disadvantage, telling a pre-match press briefing, it's good to come away from Wembley. The three lines saw off old foes. Germany to reach the last eight in front 40,000 fans, the biggest sporting crowd since the start of the pandemic. The England boss said his squad had the opportunity, the confidence, and the belief ahead of their meeting with Ukraine. That's at very latest. We're back with the late update at 10.30. For now, good evening.